Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So, a few things to start off with. Um, I have decided to name our little mannequins Bill and Ed, so Edwina, basically because they were the most liked comments, all the ones that I like the most. So, we've got Bill here, who's decided just today he's going to be a little chef while we're away on the mainland. You can crack on, Bill. Feel free to use anything in the kitchen. And we've got Ed out here, who's standing guard. She's just having a nice time. She'll be on watch, making sure no, no funny business happens while we're away. The good news is that I actually fixed the outside issue. So this is now all inside. Um, it wasn't the corners. All I did was make basically make this wall. Just like three across. And as soon as I did that, it was fixed. No idea. It might have been the corners and I just needed to place a couple more walls and then it fixed itself. I've got absolutely no idea. But just doing that seems to have fixed it. So I'm pretty happy about that. We've now got a fully indoor house. So pretty pleased about that this episode like i said previously we are going to go to the mainland we are going to get our battle bus up and ready and prepared for battle uh we are taking quite a lot of different things with us so that i can do lots of metal working on the mainland we're also bringing lots of random supplies so weapons and some food and things so i can put into the different vehicles and then we've just got spares of most stuff um the other thing that i'm going to need to do is like i said previously i'm going to need to make a small detour to the gas station because I need to put down a rain collector. So I think we've already got the garbage bags actually there as it is. If I don't have enough there, then I will basically just look for some garbage bags and bring some back with me on the way back. Um, and I'll do that just at the end. Right, we're on the boat. Let's have a quick look then. Um, I'm slightly worried because there's not there's not much gas in here and there's no wind. Um, let's try and turn it into a decent direction. Hope the wind picks up. And then we'll get going. We could actually tie the boat, get out and get some gas. We do have the spare. You know what? Let's go do that. Right, okay. And that's walk up and grab a gas can. And then we can actually try and use the boat's engine rather than rely on the sails. But my experience is that it does guzzle gas. I'm not 100%. It might be a lot better than I think it is. But we will we will see, I guess. So, oh god, I thought it was a zombie. Oh, that's going to take a while to get used to. Ed, you're, gonna, you're just going to scare me. I'm sorry, but just get used to that for a minute. Uh, grab that. There we go. Just try and fully turn round. Excellent. That should be okay like that. Let's start the engine. Here we go. So we'll see how much gas is left in this at the end. But if it runs out before we get to the mainland, a uh, little bit of a concern. Actually, you know what? Move the sails. We don't need the sails up while we're doing this. I think having the sails up just slows us down. Not 100%, but that makes sense. But the main reason I haven't really been using this engine before is, one, I think it's a bit of a gas gather. Two, we needed all the gas we could possibly have during winter. But seeing as we've got now a massive surplus, I think it's fine that we do use the boat's engine like this. Uh, and it would help significantly if we could have a full tank on the boat. And if we do get stuck or because of wind, we can just nip back and forth. I think that's probably a good tool just to have in general. Right, so we seem to be doing all right. Oh, did we stall? That's why we're out of gas, right? So it used basically a whole can of gas not even fully get one way so it is a gas guzzler um which isn't great i mean we haven't even got all the way over yet which is a bit of a shame uh we're going to raise the sail hope that we can move a little bit but it looks like we'd need at least two and a half cans of gas to get there and back okay it's the night but we can just about move there you go well at least we're actually where we need to be which is nice uh let's just turn the boat slowly but surely okay and we can find the boat that's something uh move the sails there we go and at least we're bound the boat we can get off technically now uh we can't really see what we're doing let's attach this to our back and get off the boat i think to begin with we'll take our land rover get that in the garage and at least we can put the antique stove in at that point be safe in the garage and that'll be nice right Open the gates, and our Land Rover is finally home. You can go down here. There we go. We're good. So now we can get our antique stove out of here. Oh, we've got two wrenches in here. We can put them in the various vehicles. That's good. Uh, we will chuck what we don't need into the battle bus itself, because that's what we're going to be using today. Okay, that's good. That means we should be able to pick up this antique stove, chuck it inside. We're good at that point. Hey, presto, there we go. We've got an antique stove. So we can always use that to do various bits and bobs let's disassemble another one of these these racks get plenty of planks from that and we should be able to build a, a rain collector there 
There we go. I'll do. Now we've got a rain collector. So if we do get stuck, we've got water, we've got the cooking pot in the truck, we'll be fine. We can last for a little while. Let's go to sleep. And then later on, we will head off in the battle bus over to the nearby little town and we will raid it for everything we can, basically. Do we have everything we need? We'll grab one of the tire pumps so we can chuck that in the truck here. Take the sledgehammer, I guess, just in case we absolutely need a sledgehammer for some reason. I don't think we will, but probably better to be safe than sorry. Okay, sledgehammer away and the tire pump away. Actually, before we do that, we might as well pump up the tires, thinking about it. Uh, tires, what are they like? Yeah, just inflate all the tires. Have a look at the tires. 35, 35, 35, 40. Uh, deflate? I don't think I want to have it at 40. I want it to have it at 35. 36, 35. There we go. That'll do. Cool. It makes it a little bit easier. The problem is it's snowing and it's going to be icy on the roads. This is what I was hoping to avoid last time. But it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Let's not bother turning around. Let's go out this gate. Keep forgetting there's only one entry and exit on this. Oh, I wish it just put you in the in the driver's seat automatically. It's really frustrating that it doesn't. There's the gates. No, that's <laughs> oh, sake. I've only just got used to going in that side to for the driver's seat, and now I have to get used to it going in the opposite one. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. Turn. Let's go. Go, go, go. If it's like this, it should be fairly easy to notice what's road and what's not. I don't think beans should give you 10 unhappiness. I've eaten cold baked beans. I think everyone's eating cold baked beans. They're tasty. <laughs> Nothing wrong with cold baked beans. Oh god, these zombies. Okay. Don't want to break the bus before we upgrade it. Get out the road. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the problem with this bus is it's it's quite hard to just turn. It's uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. It gets quite quick, but turning is a bit slow. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> Probably should have topped up the gas actually before we left. That's okay. We've still got a, we've still got plenty of fuel to get back, and um, we can probably find some gas from various cars and bits and bobs that are out and about. Right, the thing is, I need to remember where I need, actually need to go now. Uh, it's been a while since I've been to that town. I think we have to go right the way through to the other town, then take the turning out at that point. Uh, we need to basically be at the part, go past the bottom of the bridge where we found all the vehicles previously. So each of these seats can have 26 on them, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to take all the arcade machine bits back with me. Uh, we can always, always get the roof rack on this if we can upgrade it to have a roof rack. Hopefully we can find enough bits and bobs to do that. At that point, we can have so much stuff on this, it would be ridiculous. Right, here we go, coming into town. Right, so I think it's once we cross this bridge, we then take the turning. And then we should be at the bottom end of the bridge at that point, on the other bridge. Because this is the river, so we must be on the other side. Out my way. There we go. Oh, and the temperatures are above. Oh, thank God. It's gotten warmer. Snow will start melting. Yay. Oh, just in time. Oh, God. This is what I'm worried about. Stuff like this. How the hell am I meant to go know where I'm going? Well, we must be getting near now, surely. Okay, there's the sea there. So we're following the coast round. Uh... That's not looking good. Maybe it's... I don't know. We'll go up a little bit, but I think we might have gone way past it. I think we're meant to go south. Oh, no. Hang on. No, this is the town. Here we are. All right. Oh, good. We're here. Thank God. Yeah, so the, the arcade bit was up here, I think. So let's just pull over here. Right. Here we are. Um, We're going to need to just take everything apart, basically. Uh, See what we can find. Luckily, we have cleared out basically the whole of this town. There might be the odd zombie, but we shouldn't have too many issues. Apparently we can't even get in here. Hello? I thought we'd been in here before. Apparently not. I did some of the door. Anyone in here? Ooh. Okay, well, we've got all the arcade machines. <laughs> so, how much these weigh? 20 each. 20 a piece. Nice. Okay. We've already got the jukebox. Let's get kaboom. So we've got pause, we've got kaboom. And then it's just Dr. Oid, isn't it? And then we're good. I think so. Um... We could disassemble the rest if we wanted to get our electrical skill up, I guess. Because what is our electrical skill now? It's three. Do we need to get it to level four? I think we do for uh, for the solar panel stuff. Dr. Oids, here we go. And yeah, we've got a lot that we can take apart for electrical skill now, which is nice, including the desktop and the phones outside. So hopefully this episode, we should be able to level up our electrical skill. But I think the arcade machines give a lot of electrical skill just on their own. Right, let's start taking everything apart then. 
scrap metal there we go that's what we're after need like what is it 120 odd of them of course need the door knobs and door hinges so we'll take all of them as possible but let's just get to disassembling okay we should probably take the unusable metal as well to be honest then because then we can uh use that to create more iron if need be there we go right more scrap metal okay let's take the usable iron take that we might as well take the scrap we might as well take all of it why not okay right let's just get in the battle bus we'll chuck everything in uh we'll chuck everything in the boot actually to begin with i think we'll be all right at that point so we need somewhere to sleep for the night um where's a good place probably over here i'm guessing there's a couple of houses here that we could probably just crash in for the night and then in the morning we'll start taking apart all the metal in the world so that we can finally get our battle bus set up close the curtains just in case there do happen to be some zombies around i don't think there are while we're here fill up the miniature canteen we do have some melted ice cream as well Something to eat oh hello we do have a a visitor well one escaped me anyway previously that's fine right, shut the curtains shut the curtains can't hear anything good all right let's go to sleep all right five o'clock exactly good all right let's start disassembling everything uh scrap metal from that that's decent um just keep going okay so we've got some metal pipes we've got various bits and bobs to add. um let's have a look at actually what we need to use to make the bus stuff the bull bar that we need we need 10 metal pipes protection we need metal sheet 13 metal sheets jesus and metal pipes 18 metal pipes for that and that's just for one window 15 for the rear door the right window the wheels we need a lot of pipes and a lot of metal sheets uh we can already make the toolbox though which is exciting and yeah we can probably make the that already fine so it looks like we don't need small metal sheets but we need metal sheets we need all the metal pipes in the world well we need all the pipes so it's going to be a case of dismantling all the baths all the toilets that sort of thing to try and get as many pipes as possible Yep, to the toilet. Metal pipe, lovely. Has items. Ooh, more melted ice cream. Nice. All right, two more metal pipes. Scrap metal as well. Okay, and we'll just keep rinsing repeat, basically. Till we've got a decent amount. We're going to need a lot of metal sheets. Probably like 40, 50 of them. And we're going to need the same amount of metal pipes. So this is going to be interesting to see if we can actually get all of this. We might as well just dismantle stuff that would have piping in it. So, like, fridges. Uh, s shit. Crap, crap, crap. Uh... Are there actually any zombies around, though? I don't think there's actually that many zombies around to go to it. I'd rather be safe than sorry, though. Okay, that looks like it's over. I do have a zombie there. Apart from that, I think we're all right. Do we have enough? We can make the toolbox, and we can also make the protection for the door. Uh, which one should we go for? Make the toolbox. There we go. Right, we've got it. Oh, the hood is completely screwed. Right, we need a metal sheet to fix that up, then. Install. Requires roof rack. Oh, we need the roof rack first? Fine. But that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna need a lot more stuff then like five metal pipes we need like loads more loads 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 more I wonder if we can get up into these flats because i don't think i've been up to, into any of them also we could potentially take some bar elements while we're here said i would like some we might as well how much do they weigh 20 each Ugh. we can definitely take one don't know if we're gonna be able to take many more than that okay once we get the roof rack up we'll be able to store all the stuff we want in the world so for a roof rack what do we need 16 metal pipes Fine, well, let's just focus on getting the roof rack done first. And then after that, we can just do everything that we want. So it's going to be a case of going to all of these, dismantling any sinks and stuff like that. So the kitchen is going to be essential for this. Can we antique bar taps? I kind of want to take the antique bar tap. There we go. And now we can have a beer on tap. Excellent. Okay, but if we get two metal pipes from each of them, that's really good. Uh, we've only got one from that one, but it looks like it's it's like random. You get one or two usually. Right, metal sheet. And can we we can make a metal sheet out of that as well actually okay fine let's go up here there looks like lots of flats and things up there here we go we must have to go through here yeah stairs are there good I just need to be careful because i haven't actually been up in there there could be zombies here right excellent everything we could possibly need to dismantle oh look at all those pipes six metal pipes nice anything in here oh we've got a little kitchen assemble the built-in fridge green fridge don't need that thank you think we got more metal pipes also got an antique oven in here weirdly you could cram any more in uh anything else in here no nothing get out the get out mr plinky let's head over to the next one 
if we if we just dismantle baths then we'll get all the metal pipes we need because that was a lot of pipes from just one place this is a weird flat goes around quite a lot um okay we've also got a computer dismantle that for the electrical I don't know what's going on with some of the textures some of the textures look a little bit weird not sure what that's about right take them i do want to take these bookshelves back for our little library how much do they weigh 7.5 each is not bad uh let's chuck all that on the floor then uh we'll remember that they're there and we'll come back for them okay well, that's a decent amount of metal pipes already we've still got another floor to go let's go up the next floor see if there's anything up there and then i think we'll make the rack and we'll go from there here we go more oh look at that boom all right that's plenty to make the roof rack already all right, we should probably just be disassembling the TVs and stuff as well for the electrical skill. Getting late and I'm getting tired. Fine. We'll do this next one. And I think we'll go to sleep and we'll do the rest in the morning. Oh, we've got some more books. Bookshelves as well. Uh, disassemble the TV. Okay, let's disassemble the computer and then we'll just go to sleep. Okay, it's the morning and we're pretty laden up. So let's go chuck what we've got away. Oh, there's one more room. Oh, nearly missed that. Oh, bathroom. Excellent. More pipes. This is a big bathroom as well. They got like two toilets, shower and bath. All the pipes in the world. Actually, not all the pipes in the world. We got three, five. Eh, better than nothing. Right, here we go. It seems pretty clear here. So that us have a look at all our stuff. And let's make the roof rack for the bear bus. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Right, so this can hold 90. That's good. That's all. That's all the bookshelves we'll ever want. Everything we can ever want. We'll chuck that in there. Or is it actually a zombie? Where the hell did you come from? Jesus. <laughs> I haven't seen a zombie the whole time and suddenly he appears out of nowhere just as I'm about to install it. Right. The first part on our battle bus. It's done. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's chuck all the stuff we don't need on the floor again. Can we make anything else with this stuff, though? Uh, thinking about it. Uh, we can make the ball bar. Or the protection. Make the ball bar. Yeah, we got it. Excellent. Okay, can we make anything else? While we're here. Um, protection, we can make the door or the rear door. No protection for the door. Hey, there we go. Got it. Excellent. Cool. Right. Install these. Are you serious? We need a pipe wrench to install that. Why? Okay, we're going to have to look for a pipe wrench now. I'm pretty sure I've seen one somewhere. I think there's one in the garage over on the other side. I'll we'll probably have to go pick that up. Okay, well, that's the door done. Then we'll install the roof toolbox. There you go. Well, that's done. Uh, fine. Can we just fix this up? Let's fix up the hood. But the gas tank is bad as well. Basically, the gas tank is one of those ones that we're going to need. It's only standard edition, so we should be able to just uninstall a different gas tank and we'd be all right. We might have to look at doing that later on. Improved ball bar. Blueprint of improved ball bar. Oh. Oh, we need, like, spike plow and stuff. We want to do that. Right, okay. Where do we find the spike plow blueprint, then? We have, oh, slide. Oh, we found another dance magazine. Nice. Okay. Fine. Always happy to find some more dance magazines. Uh, Metal bar? Do we need metal bars? I don't know. Definitely metal sheets, though. Oh, blueprint of him. Oh. Hang on. We just got that. We got that as soon as we made the ball bar. Interesting. Okay, so maybe once we've made that, then we've got more of a chance of making the other bits. I'm pretty happy so far that we've got all that stuff. It's just it's just gonna be a pain in the ass having to dismantle all this all this um all these bars and everything just to get all the pipe work. Because if we need 18 for one window, we're gonna be here a bloody long time. Ow. Okay, that was a uh that was a roof to nowhere. <laughs> Good to know. I'm glad I didn't go down there with a full inventory. Otherwise, I probably would have died. Okay. Well, uh, we'll leave that alone. We won't go up any further. Let's go see if I can find this pipe wrench then. Anything in here? Oh, these are flats. Let's go into here. Right, straight away four. Nice. Right, okay. Another bathroom. Oh, look at this space. It's got two bathrooms. <laughs> Why do you need two baths? Literally, it's a tiny little flat. Okay, well, this this uh, apartment alone had so many metal pipes, we could probably make a protection just from that. Right, and I'm still on the lookout for the Legorme stuff, if we can find any. I don't think we will at this rate, but we'll see. Okay, we have a zombie here. What's the one by the look of it? Probably good things are extremely tired. On 
no, no others are around. No, it's good. Right, our battle bus is slowly coming to fruition. We're getting there. We're slowly, slowly getting there. Right, what can we make now? Uh, protection for wheels. Windshield protection. Uh, let's make the windshield protection. Is that made? Yep, there we go. Uh, can we make anything else? Improved ball bar. But then can we just take apart the old one? No. So we, we basically have to waste it getting a new one. Left windows, we can make one. How many windows do we need? Uh, Christ, okay. Uh, make two of the wheels. Install this one first. Uh, for the windshield, install. Right, and can we now make the ones for the wheels too? Right, okay. For the protection for wheel. Oh, you only need the one. I thought you needed it for like all of them. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it was going to be like, oh, you need to build multiples. Oh, that's all right then. Okay, but we don't have the protection for the left win for the right windows. We've only got it for the right. Protection for right windows. That's bizarre. Um, I don't know what that's to do with. Right, I need to make it for the rear door, and we need to make it for the left, don't we? That's for the right. We need it for the left. We need 18 metal pipes. Protection for rear door. We need 15. And we've got 11. We've got 11, 12, 13. We're short of like two. <laughs> God's sake. Okay. Fine. Uh, that's just find somewhere to go inside. It's really cold. Uh, we'll go to sleep. And then we'll start again in the morning. I don't know why we can seem to only be able to make uh, one wheel protector. Uh, I've got no idea about that. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's go to sleep here. All right. Let's go into these houses here. Well, there should be plenty of pipes in these. Uh, we'll get what we can. Then we'll go back. But it is coming along. Anyway, let's disassemble these. Five metal pipes. Nice. Metal pipe. There's another toilet. Right, what's our situation looking like in terms of electrical? Nearly there, actually. We're nearly at level four. That'll be good when we are. Oh, zombie there. Oh, got him. We're starting to run out of places to take apart. Uh, probably go down here then, I guess. Right, see if we can make anything else now. Hopefully we can. Protection for a rear door. Nice. There we go, that's that. And now we've unlocked the left windows. Uh, so we need... Right, we need a few more metal pipes then, I guess. I think we needed 18. Okay, so we've got 15 there. We need two more metal pipes, you serious? Just two. Okay, fine. Well, let's go back, see if we can get the pipe wrench from over there. I think it's still in the garage. And we'll see if we can just deconstruct a few things to get a, a couple of metal pipes. Uh, and at that point, we should be able to install the last bits and our battle bus should basically be ready. Uh, did we have a pipe wrench in here? I thought we did. No, apparently we didn't. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, okay, we might just need to take that back with us. I think we've got one back, back at the garage, I think, anyway. Uh, we did need to get to the ammo store, though, because there was some, um, I swear there was a gun shop. Am I, am I thinking of completely the wrong place? I think it's that one, isn't it? I'm really confused now. Because I needed to get the shotgun that I missed last time. So I'll try and... Yeah, here we go. So shotgun. Here we go. Decent shotgun. Shotgun shells. Boom. And we can take all of these ammo, basically. And then we can use that to uh, level up, make our own stuff. 9 mil cases. That might be good. So let's just take a second one. Why not? While we're here, we might as well. I think that's most of this. Oh, hang on. Missed that. What was that? Some more ammo. We've got some more ammo. We still haven't found an ammo pack this whole playthrough. I don't know where they tend to be. But um, I think they might only spawn on actual zombies. But I haven't seen like any of them like at all. Another sledgehammer? Do we need another sledgehammer? I don't think we do really. Uh, right then. I think that's everything. Don't need to find pipe wrench. No idea where to find it though. <laughs> I just don't know. I guess we'll, we'll find it eventually. Right then. Can we make it now? No. <laughs> For God's sake, what, where are we missing one pipe? Are you serious? Is it what? Is it a single pipe that we're missing? Yes. Okay. There we go. Metal pipe. Okay. <laughs> Should be for the left-hand side. There we go. Okay. Protection for the right windows is done. And we've got protection for the left windows. Okay. There we go. We've got the protection for the left windows. But it doesn't let us do the right windows. Why not? I don't understand why it's not letting us do the right windows. Not like anything's particularly busted, is it? No, not really. Unless we just have to install the bull bar first. But we need a pipe wrench. We could make an improved uh, bull bar. 
And then maybe once we've got that, we could then make the plowed version. That's the only thing I can think of us doing. Uh, improved. We need 19 metal pipes. Okay, um, that's a lot of work. Keep that in there. Right, and let's go see if I can just get the improved ball bar. Uh, we'll see if we can find a pipe wrench in the uh, things over here. And then after that, I think I'm going to call it a day. Oh, I didn't realize we've got a second arcade. Okay, let's start taking apart these. There we go. Level up in electrics. Excellent. Right, so do we get any scrap metal and things? We've got some scrap metal. Not a huge amount, though. Still don't have any more metal pipes, annoyingly. I think we've basically got rid of all the metal pipes we possibly could. Okay, I'm just going to shut that. There we go. Uh... Loads of club hammers in here. I wish I'd found them before. That would have been really helpful. Start military canteen because it's running on empty. All that. Right, we've got one. <laughs> that's uh, that's not great. Okay, six. That's better. I don't think we're going to find any more in this place. How many do we have now? Ten. <laughs> uh, this is going to take us a long time. Right, assemble this. Nothing. Great. Okay, go to sleep. We'll finish it off in the morning. Right, okay, come on, large industrial bath. Give me pipes. Four. Okay, and this one? Come on, this might be enough. Uh, is it enough? We need 19. We've got 18. Okay. Is there like one more toilet in here or something? No. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, there is. There is. There is. Right there. Ugh. Yes. There we go. Right. And that's build it. Improved ball bar. There we go. And look, we've got the one for spike plow now. Right, so how do we make the spike plow now? Make spike plow. 16 metal sheets and 5 metal pipes. That's a little bit easier to do. Right, well, I think I'm probably going to have to do that off camera. I don't think I'm going to have time to do all that. Because uh, it's going to be a pain. But basically what I'm going to do between now and next episode is I'm going to make that spike plow. And I'm going to uh, try and install it on our battle bus. If, I'm, if I can't because I need the pipe wrench, then I'm just going to head back at the beginning of next episode and uh, we can go from there but it'll be nice to have it done if we can so thank you so much for watching guys if you like with him please leave a like and subscribe a massive thank you to all my patreons seth pet overlord sarah through clint david aaron dare mikhail emma de blog Rai, Kalara, daniel damer len wolf aj andrew mitch mvh nexus lord me lord t chaos Toolman, and blue heiress thank you so much guys you guys are just amazing thank you so much Next episode, basically be heading back. I'm probably going to pick up a uh, another car to take back with us. I think that'd be good. We uh, we probably should start heading back at some point just because I don't want to leave the generator for too long. I think we've done we've done well. We've done really well. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.